Hello, friends. Welcome back. Today, we're going to do a Pig Latin <clears throat> algorithm. So, um, uh, we want to, Pig Latin takes the first consonant or consonant cluster in an English word and moves it to the end of the word and suffixes an A-Y. <clears throat> if the word begins with a vowel, you just add way to the end. If a word does not contain a vowel, we just add A-Y to the end. And the string inputs are guaranteed to be English words in all lowercase. If the word does not contain a vowel. If the first word let <clears throat> if the first if the first letter is a vowel. So what I'm thinking is we want to scroll through here, be checking for vowels, and then we can make a consonant or we can make a um, conditional statement so that if the first letter, if index is at zero, is if that's a vowel, then we want to just uh, handle it that way by adding a, a, a w a y to the end, and then if there and then if we go all the way through and there are none, then we'll just add a. Uh, an ay at the end so yeah let's do that um first off i'm just going to set this um to result so that we can see the uh the results right so right now we're just passing through consonant i just set this to result and i'm console logging it all this is doing is making it so that we can see the results down here and then um yeah so the first thing that we need is the vowels right so we're gonna let vowels equal a E I or U. Um, you could do it like this A E I. But uh, yeah, and then I'll just print it here so that you can see it A E I or U. But that's uh, that. There's a better way that I like to do this kind of thing. If you just go um, A E I O U, and then you go dot split, and then um, you split it up that way. It's just a faster way to write it. It's the exact same thing, but that just makes it. Um, it's just really fast. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is iterate through the string. And so we can use a for loop for that. So we're going to let i equal 0. i is less than the string dot length. And then i plus equals 1. Uh, let's uh, console dot log the string at i. And so now we're going, we're iterating through. We're just c o n s o n. So now we can say, uh, you know, we can find out whether or not this string is. Uh, we could do string i. I'm going to call this. Let's call this individual letter. And then, let, yeah, we can console log the individual letter. And so now we know we're working with the individual letter. So one thing that we could do is, um, yeah. Is the individual letter, so if we have our vowels index, <clears throat> -E -L -S, dot index of the individual letter. We, you see we're getting results now. Um, so with consonant, the first letter is C, not, so it's not a vowel, so we get negative one. Um, the second letter is a vowel, so we actually get the position of here, so it's A, E, I, O, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's on the third position, so we know that this is the vowel. So now we know what to do with it. Um, so, yeah, this is our conditional statement. It's uh, not a vowel, a vowel, not a vowel, not a vowel, a vowel. And you'll see that that matches with consonant. Um, and then <clears throat> once we get to the A up here, the position's at 0 because A is the first element of the vowels array. Um, so what can we do here? Well, we could do a conditional statement here. So if are the, the letter is a vowel or no we should say is <clears throat> not equal to negative one so that means it, it it is a vowel right let me put that back into the uh, console log there so um so if the how can we say that is it a vowel we could say is it equal to negative one um so that's true that's true it's saying true it is a vowel but we don't want that we want it to say if it's not a vowel right so now we, we've got it if it's a vowel. So not a vowel, false, a vowel, true. And then false, S is false, O is true. So now we're iterating through and we're checking to see if the letter is a vowel. So if it's a vowel, then, well, if it's a vowel and we're at I is equal to zero, <clears throat> So we're on our first letter, then um, we've got a, an example where, this is an example where it starts with an A, right? With this, with starts, 
the, uh, the, the word starts with an A. And so what we want to do, if this is the case, I'm just going to slide this over so we can see it a bit better. If, we're, if the first letter is a vowel, then what we, what we want to do is just return the string plus uh, <clears throat> W-A-Y. So algorithm way. And so algorithm way. So yeah, if we run the tests, we'll see we pass all the tests in which the first letter of the string is a vowel. Um, now, this doesn't always go through, right? So the next thing that we want to do is handle situations like this first one, California, right? We want it to take the uh, C from there, add it to the end, and add a Y, and then have the rest of it's there. So let's say <clears throat> we can just use this again. Um, and that means if it is a vowel, but we won't ever get to position zero, so we don't have to deal with that because it's already been handled here. Um, we don't need a semicolon there. Then what we can do is return the string um, dot slice at i, right? Um, let's throw one in there. Let's go throw California in there so we can see it working. Okay, cool. So now we've returned the string. We've got the California part. But now we need to add California and then C-A-Y. So we can go plus the, oh, wait, not there. The string dot slice at I plus the string dot slice from, position, from the beginning of the string to the I index. So now we've got California with a C. And we want to just throw the uh, A-Y in at the end. And so we add this A-Y. Cool, so California case. So now that, if we run the tests, that passes. And then the last situation is where we have a word that doesn't have a vowel in it. So right now we're returning vowels because that was just something I had left over from the code. So we don't need that. What we want to do is return the string plus um, a y, right? Rhythm a y. Run the test, that passes. Okay, cool. Let's look at refactoring this. Um, let's see here. How can we refactor this? Okay, one thing that we could do to refactor this is we've got a situation where we've got duplicate code here, right? Vowels.index of and then the individual letter. We use this twice. So we could say, we could add in a helper function. And then we could call this um, uh, isVowel. And then we just pass in a letter. And then so we would do vowels index of individual letter. Instead of that, we could say is vowel uh, and then individual letter. Right now, that's not working because we need to handle the situation. So the vowels dot index of the letter. And then we just return this. And then instead of having that duplicate code, we could just call this function. And let's see here. We want to handle, let's do the algorithm one because that'll tell us whether or not this is right. Algorithm way. Okay, cool. That one's working. California working. Nice. <clears throat> and so, yeah, there, therefore we've handled the, um, we've handled the, the situation. We've, we've dried up our code. We had dupl duplicate code here and we've extracted it to, to a um, helper function which allows us to have a cleaner code. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense in this one because this is such a small program, but once you get into larger programs, it makes sense to have your code be uh, extracted when you have duplicate code like that. Um, yeah, I was probably have spelt this out, but I think that this is an efficient way to do it. If you wanted to make this more explicit for maybe younger programmers, you could be like A, <clears throat> E, I, O, or U. And that would give you um, the exact same results, but it's a little bit more explicit. People know exactly what they're doing. Um, there's probably a way to do something tricky with the with these statements, but I don't really like tricky stuff. I think that this is really explicit. This is an explicit way of writing the program. So that's why we did it this way. And uh, so the tests pass. Hope you guys enjoy this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.